Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Apostle Paul raised in his letter to the Corinthians, sexual immorality. In 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18, Paul reminds us that this sin holds a unique weight. While all sins have consequences, sexual immorality affects us in a deeply personal way, for it is a sin against our own bodies. Let us delve into the significance of this warning and discover how we can honor God by fleeing from the temptations of sexual immorality. First and foremost, we must understand that God's design for human sexuality is beautiful and sacred. He created it to be experienced within the bounds of marriage, where love, trust, and commitment are meant to flourish. However, in today's world, sexual immorality surrounds us, seeking to ensnare our hearts and minds. From explicit media to promiscuous behaviors, we are bombarded with invitations to deviate from God's plan. It is essential to recognize that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, and defiling them with sexual sin disrupts our connection with God. The Apostle's use of the word flee implies urgency and an active response. We cannot afford to be passive in the face of sexual temptations. Instead, we must cultivate an attitude of vigilance, guarding our hearts and minds against the subtle allure of sin. By fleeing from sexual immorality, we demonstrate our commitment to God and our desire to honor Him in all aspects of our lives. Moreover, we must recognize that sexual sin not only damages our relationship with God but also causes harm to ourselves and others. In a world that often promotes instant gratification and self-indulgence, we need to remember that our actions have consequences. Casual encounters and illicit relationships may offer momentary pleasure, but they leave emotional scars that can haunt us for years. The brokenness resulting from sexual sin can impact our self-worth, our ability to trust others, and our future relationships. However, we must approach this topic with compassion and understanding, recognizing that many among us may have struggled or are currently struggling with sexual sin. As a community of believers, we are called to offer love, support, and a safe space for repentance and healing. God's grace is boundless, and no one is beyond redemption. Through repentance, forgiveness, and God's transforming power, we can find restoration and experience the freedom that comes from fleeing sexual immorality. Furthermore, we must arm ourselves with practical strategies to resist sexual temptations. Cultivating a vibrant prayer life, studying God's word, and surrounding ourselves with fellow believers who encourage and hold us accountable are invaluable tools in our fight against sin. When we immerse ourselves in God's truth and prioritize our relationship with Him, we become better equipped to discern and reject the lies of the enemy. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us heed Paul's timeless advice and flee from sexual immorality. By doing so, we honor God, protect our own bodies, and foster a community that exemplifies purity and love. Together, let us walk in the path of righteousness, encouraging one another to embrace God's design for human sexuality and experience the abundant life He has prepared for us. May His grace guide us, and may His love be evident in every aspect of our lives. Now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts humbled by the weight of your truth. Your word reminds us of the urgency to flee from sexual immorality, for it is a sin against our very own bodies, which you have fearfully and wonderfully made. We acknowledge that your design for human sexuality is sacred, and we seek your guidance to walk in purity and honor before you. Lord, we confess that we live in a world inundated with temptations that seek to draw us away from your perfect plan. The enemy prowls like a roaring lion, seeking to devour our hearts and minds. But we know that in you, we find strength and victory over sin. Grant us the discernment to recognize the deceitful allure of sexual immorality and the courage to turn away from it. Forgive us, Lord, for the times we have fallen into this sin. We know that our actions not only grieve your heart but also harm ourselves and others. We ask for your healing touch upon any emotional wounds caused by past mistakes. We surrender our brokenness to you, believing in your promise of restoration and redemption. Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters who may be struggling with sexual sin. May your grace abound in their lives, 
drawing them closer to your loving embrace. Help us to be a supportive community, offering understanding, compassion, and encouragement to those who seek to break free from the chains of sexual immorality. Equip us, Lord, with the armor of faith to withstand the enemy's attacks. May we immerse ourselves in your word and engage in fervent prayer, seeking strength in our relationship with you. Surround us with fellow believers who will walk beside us on this journey, holding us accountable and pointing us towards your truth. Lord, let our lives be a testimony of your transforming power. May the world see the light of your love shining through us as we honor your design for human sexuality. Help us to be beacons of purity, reflecting your holiness in all that we do. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and unending grace. You are our God, and we trust in your promise to lead us into freedom and abundant life. Help us flee from sexual immorality, we know that our victory is secured in you. Your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray. Amen.